shit is hot. Yeah. I've been starved for sun for so long. I'm just like, this is fine, this is fine. But I'm literally melting. I'm like sweaty, I can't see. And I'm like, oh, this is fine, this is fine. I refuse to go inside. <laughs> My mom and I have tag teamed with my crazy munchkin. She just annihilated me in the water, made me go all the way in, and now I feel like, you know that movie, um, <clears throat> The Sandlot, where they have like the baseball thing and they've got to try to get the ball back, and my little kid is like in love with the, um, <clears throat> the lifeguard lady, and he like pretends to drown so that she has to save him and kiss him, and then afterwards she's like sitting like really soaked and angry on like her lifeguard chair, like, I feel like that's me now. <laughs> like, I'm not angry, I'm quite refreshed, but I feel like a drowned rat. Anyway, I'm currently making the Drago tree happen uh, by Isabel Blackthorne. And like, just like a refresher, in case you didn't see me say about it in my last one. Like, um, it's this woman, right? And she like had a bad relationship or something, like um, a bad boyfriend who like beat her or something, or just like a bad relationship and she's escaping it. And she's come to Lanzarote uh, in the, you know, a deserted island in the middle of nowhere, which is where we are now. Uh, so she's escaping a bit of a past, you know, she's like getting in touch with like her inner self and a bunch of like cliche stuff. Um, also, she's a writer, another horrendous cliche, but she's got a bit of writer's block, you know, she can't really write anything. Uh, anyway, she goes out on the town, uh, she finds this cute little sort of local bar, and she meets another cliché character who's a gorgeous salt and pepper sort of guy, very mysterious, we don't really know anything about him as of yet, um, but I feel like, despite everything being like a bit of a cliché, I'm still sort of enjoying it. I think like the main thing for me is that the writing has to be pretty good, you know? The book that I just finished, I just finished Every Heart a Doorway. Um, and the, the writing was just terrible and in the end it's just ruined it all the way for me Like I can't even ever say to anyone read that book because the writing was so terrible Whereas with this one, even though it's full of a bunch of cliches I'm only a little bit into it so I don't know if the plot is really good But because the writing is sort of doable Like I'm, I'm in, you know, I quite, I quite like it now In my reading for today uh, we know a little bit more about the dude, right? He's got like some sort of ex-wife, I think. I think she's an ex. He doesn't really say that she's an ex, but he's sort of talking about an evening where they were just horrible to each other and she sounded really horrible and stuff. Um, we also found out that he's also a writer, but he's not just like an amateur type writer, like he's a proper writer, he's like published, he's got books out, blah, blah. Um, it sounds like he's sort of a series writer. He, he like, you know, turns out absolutely loads of these books, but maybe not like literary masterpieces, I reckon. You know, he's just, uh, he's a series writer. I think I quite like this character dude now. Like, um, he's obviously like a cliche, but he's a bit like, I used to have a huge crush on, um, you know, the show The Nanny, Fran Drescher, she's in that, like the guy, the employer. I used to have like a huge crush on him. I can't remember his name, but he's like, sort of reminds me of this guy. Like, sorry I keep touching my glasses. Like, it's like a tick. Like, I don't even know why I'm doing it. I just keep doing it and I don't know how to stop. Um, and also, the book is doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is sort of describe like the scene of the island and like the history of it and stuff in the story, which is what I love to do. I did that with the one that I read in Hawaii um, over Christmas as well. Um, this was saying about how these friars or like these priests in the 1400s sort of like came to the island um, and sort of overtook it in the hopes that they'd be able to sell it on to some country that wants to use it for its like trading purposes or whatever. Um, and that there was sort of like a tribe-ish of people sort of living here before that. Um, and there was like a sort of king of the island who allowed the priest guy to make a fortress on one of the islands um, in order to defend them or whatever. Um, but I imagine some sort of treachery happens afterwards because that tribe doesn't have this island now. It's Spain's island. So, um, we'll see. Um, I'm also getting quite a bit of info from my guidebook, which I brought with me, which I like to have like a bit of history of. Um, and I was reading about how like Homer and like these ancient poets used to write about it as this like, you know, this like fortuitous island. Uh, more to come about that after I, you know, read one. What, what? Um, like, the guy in reception is the most gorgeous guy I've ever seen in ages. He's like really Spanish and he has like, um, like a perfect stubble and like really lovely like white straight teeth and he's got like a megawatt smile. Like every time you ask for anything he's like, and it like, it, like glints, I swear. Um, and I sort of put this on my blog yesterday and <laughs> Sean, uh, at pastoral time, she was like, 
you know, if we could get a picture, that'd be really good. Um, and I do think that we need someone to fix our TV. Like, I think it's like broken and we need him to look at it and sort of figure out what's going on with it. Um, but my kid has just done a massive fart in here. <laughs> like, she was like outside and she just like ran in, ripped a huge one and then ran out again. And now it smells like, like the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. So now I have to wait a sec because I don't want him to be like, oh yeah, I'll come and see your room, it'll be fine. And then come into like massive farts because obviously I will have been the one that did it, he'll think so. <laughs> this weird cactus. What weird tree is this? If this is aloe vera, it's like a sort of aloe plant from the moon. Holy shit, I think it's a Drago tree! I think this is it! I think this is it. Right? Does anyone know anything about plants in the Canaries? Or like plants in general that can help me? Or is anyone way better at googling things than me? I need your help guys. Right, okay, okay. The usual hotel book depository area. What have we got? What have we got? What's this one? The sand pit. Ah, that looks kind of interesting. What have we got? Uh, our Nicholas Spark situations. Born ultimatum. Hmm. Lol. Nothing good. Lol, my kid is so much cooler than me. Okay, I'm back at my book again. And um, in it, she's talking about like going around all the like villages and stuff and seeing all the houses. And sort of like makes a note of how it's so touristy now, Lanzarote, how it's like mean like industry is tourism and all of the homes and everything and a lot of places are all just tourists to do you know they're all like hotels and like apartments and stuff um and i was reading my guidebook last night about this area that we're in now this matagorda area and it used to be like you know like a village i think like a fishing village or something like that and now it's just basically all like tourism things and we're like walking from one end to the other and they're all just like old people <laughs> like out on their like decks with their like you know mobility scooters or whatever they're obviously like not from here anyway neither are we and it's it's nice here but um it is interesting you know like what was it like before as a fishing village like were the houses like really cute and stuff i'm gonna have to google this when i get back to the to the flat i'll see a maybe a picture of what it used to look like Okay, uh, can we have a light conversation about my subscription situation that's happened? Um, I wasn't really gonna say anything about it because I mean it's just booktube, like I don't want to get over emotional on you guys. Um, but my subscriptions have like shot through the roof recently and it's to do with them, um, I think three sort of specific shout outs that I got from like really lovely people at other channels. Um, I don't want to like make it weird for anybody because I do tend to do that. And I don't want to like, you know, start throwing around the word honor or anything like that because it's just booktube. But I do, I don't know, feel like weirdly honored. Like, I don't know. So it was uh, Liz Schubert at her channel. I'll sort of link these below because they do have really awesome channels. You guys probably already watch them and that's probably why you're here. But um, also Doris at Aldi Books and um, Olive, out of Book Olive. Um, you guys are awesome, I love your channels. I've watched them, you know, loads and 
I feel weirdly honored that you've like included me in a list of ridiculously awesome booktubers as well. So in those shout outs, there were several other people sort of listed and I sort of went through them and just sort of subbed them all like a crazy person at a buffet, you know, like I need to get all of these foods. Um, and it was, it was like, I don't know. I really do love booktube and I'm so happy that I'm part of booktube and that I started it. But like every once in a while you get like really nice moments where you just feel like, you know, like, booktube you know i love you guys um anyway if you're here recently like you've just subbed me recently because of these shout outs or whatever thank you for coming um i hope that i'm not too boring <laughs> like i feel like there's a bit of pressure now to not suck too bad now that i have absolutely loads of subscribers like i had i think last week about 170 something and now i have over 500 which is amazing However, I feel like every time someone does hit like a milestone, you know, like 500 or 1000 or whatever, they do something really awesome. And I do quite like watching those videos. I've never had to do a video like that before because I've never had enough. But like, I don't really know what to do. And I was talking to Liz Schubert and she was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm coming up close as well. And I sort of want to do something, I want to do a QA. and a And I was like, okay, like maybe I'll, I'll do that. I would definitely watch her Q and A, you know, so maybe, maybe I'll do one as well. Like, why not? So here, here's my call. Okay. So like, if you have a question for me and you want me to do a Q and A, so A, do you want me to do a Q and A? Do you think that will be stupid? Please be honest because life is all about hard honesty. Um, and B, you know, like what is a question that you want me to answer? I don't really know what kind of questions either. Like they can be book related, you know, or they can be about like what color pants I generally wear on a Tuesday. Like I don't even know, you know, anything has been watching videos and you're just like, you know, something you've ever like weirdly wondered about me. I don't know why you wonder anything. I'm a pretty like open book and I'm not very interesting, but um, any questions, let me know. And then I'll do a Q and A video, like maybe when I get back home or maybe the week after, life is hard, but I'll do one if you guys are into it. Okay, end of announcement. Thank you. Okay. My kid has been stalking this group of kids all day, waiting for them to ask her to play, and it's finally happened. <laughs> We're watching weird Spanish cartoons. <laughs> Y'all, I think our suave, I think our suave salt and pepper author isn't just divorced but still married to his wife. So, like, there's a bit of, like, dual timelines going on, like him being with the wife and then him, like, trying to woo this other woman. Um, and I think they're, like, I thought that meant they're dual as in the ex-wife, but I'm pretty sure he's still married. I'm so depressed. Spain's highest court has ruled that all new hotels in Playa Blanca are illegal because their construction permits were bought with bribes. Best use of two euros all day. Do you know how, like... So, this book, like, the jury is still out really on it. I think it's quite like a sort of a Mary Stewart book, you know? Like, I used to read Mary Stewart books all the time when I was in university and high school and stuff. I also think my grandma used to read them quite a lot. Um, they're a bit like Nana books. 
Well, I quite like them. They're sort of easy reads, you know, like the writing's quite good. Uh, the, uh, the ideas are, you know, sort of poetic-ish. There's a lot of like talk about the landscape around the story, you know, and it sort of weaves it into the story. But basically it's just sort of a glorified romance, you know? But like, the sex never gets too intense and I don't know, they're just like really mild, like lovely Nana stories. And it's sort of reminding me of that. Like, um, there was this one actually by Mary Stewart. <laughs> Um, to do with Lions of Roddy as well, and I've already read it, so I didn't bring it with me or anything. But I actually gave it to uh, Sarah at uh, Yorkshire Shop because I was like, this is pretty good, and like I thought she would like it as well. But it's like a novella, and it's about Lions of Roddy, and it's quite like this book, and that it's sort of like a mild romance, you know, like weaving in loads of like you know local terrain type stuff into the story, local sort of legends, local history, sort of that. Um, and sort of you know. A woman on her own on vacation or whatever anyway so I sort of feel like it's a bit like that and it just sort of continues to be like that in that way I think you know yeah I quite like that it's like you know yeah just a mild vacation read you can sort of get into while also being on the beach it's not too like thought heavy it's just lovely you know it's just it's just nice you know, sorry, I didn't mention the name of that Mary Stewart one. I think it's called Wind Off the Small Isles or something. Wind Off the Small Isles, something. I'll, I'll find that and I'll like put it up <laughs> or something. But that one was also really lovely. Like, I tend to like Mary Stewart's ones, you know, like Nine Coaches Waiting or Touch Not the Cat or there was like one to do with magic, something magic, something or whatever. Um, I feel like this Drago Tree book is sort of along those lines, a little bit. But, like, some things are a bit annoying about it. Like, my salt and pepper guy, who's actually, like, sort of cheating on his wife a bit, which is not cool. Um, he was saying some weird stuff. He's like, oh, my darling. Oh, I have to warn you. I have a wife. Oh, do not be sad, my darling. And, like, he was really weird about her writing. Like, he read some of her writing, and then he was like... Well, you know, this part is like overdeveloped or whatever, like, so I'm sort of out of love with him and also I feel like things that he's saying are like weird and like stilted, but I'm still, I'm still in it, guys. I'm still like sort of enjoying it, basically. Like, I will let you know when it becomes not enjoyable, just to warn you, but um, at the minute, you know, I'm not hating it. I'm in it. It's an easy read. It's delightful. Uh, also, like quite a lot of the talk about Lanzarote, you know, sort of the story that's weaved in, like the history and, you know, local landscape and local art and like local food and stuff. I quite like how it is weaved in, you know, so I'll be like walking and I'll be like, oh, that was in my book, you know, or like um, they were eating this like bread dipped in like a garlicky um, olive oil thing. And I was like, oh, I had that yesterday. It was delightful. Like, I don't know. I just quite like reading books about a place that I'm in currently. It just sort of like, I don't know. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. That's all I have. I have ingested a large amount of olives and wine, which were delightful. I have no regrets. But now I feel like it's hard to breathe in my current trousers. Lol. Uh, there's been like a sandstorm or whatever outside, like really strong winds and like loads of like sand and stuff. And we're like, oh, that's weird, blah, blah, blah. Um, we tried to sort of look online for any info about you. We couldn't find anything. So then cut to me later, read my book. Um, and in the book, the guy's like, oh, I'm, I'm glad we haven't had a Kalima recently, uh, which is like a sandstorm from the Sahara, which causes um, like really low visibility and high like dust storm, like sand stuff from the Sahara. And I was like, Oh shit, that's why the air was bright red. So I um, googled Kalima and Lanzarote and apparently we're in the middle of like a really intense like storm from Africa. Um, so much so that other islands in this archipelago like Tenerife and Gran Canaria have had flights cancelled. <laughs> uh, so uh, our flight is tomorrow. Uh, Lanzarote's not affected just yet. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm really glad I was uh, reading this book, or else we would have never known.
My mom was like, is that a, is that a fiction book? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it is morning. We've looked at the flakes and we feel like, and I don't want to jinx it, so I don't really want to say it out loud, but we feel pretty confident that flights are leaving the island. <laughs> Um, so we have one full day left here. We're gonna go to the capital on electric scooters. The baby's pretty chuffed. She woke up right and early going time for scooters. Um, anyway, I was reading some of this last night and I'm pretty sure we have a new romantic character, like a bit of a love triangle potentially. I'm not sure how committed he is as an as a romantic character. Like he may just be a character that drives the plot forward, if you know what I mean. Um, but he's a native of Lanzarote and he's a bit like, um, you know, a nationalist sort of guy, you know, he's like, oh, the Spanish, you know, they're our trouble. You know, everyone wants to take advantage of my people, you know, blah, blah, um, which is, you know, is a good look on a dude. I'm obviously into it because my husband can be like this. Now he and the girl have like a, you know, they're getting closer, like eventually, um, originally he was like, no, you're gross, you know, you're like the conqueror, like, I don't want you anywhere near my people. Um, but now he's like, I respect your intelligence, like, it could all kick off at any time, like, I'm ready. Okay, I have finished the Drago tree, um, and I think in the end three stars. I was hoping it'd be like a sort of easy read, like Mary Stewart type. I think in the end, I don't know, like I think I liked the ending, but the characters, I think sort of got on my nerves a bit. They were a bit like, yeah, like someone um, said recently in sort of a comment about like, how it was heavy on cliches, but like an easy read and blah, blah, blah. And like, Basically, in the end, I feel like they were pretty annoying. But I did like the stuff about Lanzarote, so... I don't know, I'm torn. I'm gonna go with three stars. Uh, but anyway, thankfully, I brought another book because I have a whole nother day left and a whole plane ride. And now I have P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern to keep me busy. We'll see how it goes. Now, thankfully, I can leave this guy in the hotel depository place, like the place where all of the finished books end up and somebody else can pick it up so that'll be good and it's a weight off my bag situation uh, right hope you liked this one sorry if it was like just loads of me on the beach relaxing like <laughs> it's never exciting watching someone else having like an amazing relax <laughs> um but if you if you like let me know um if you have any comments about books i read or books you were reading or lanzarote or vacations or anything please let me know uh thank you okay goodbye 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 Mindy Spar, Nate Tuarpa, Fingley, the Pencho Beat, E.S. Ray, Abdi Hunt, Nay, and my Floss Lower Mont, Hey, Nanny Mindum, Will I, Will I, Will I, Hey, Nanny Mindum, Will I, 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 Will I,